And we're back inside your favorite morning show. It's Sunrise. And we're buzzing with excitement right now because we've got some young innovators in the house. Mm -hmm. The Crud Busters from Reach Academy just returned from the World Robot Olympiad in Italy with a massive win. And they're here to share their journey to victory. We want to welcome to Sunrise coach Kristen Hunter and the Crud Buster That's team. That's right. Jackson Mitchell. Jackson! Jacob J Wong. Jacob Wong. And Gia Wimstone. Yes, that's right. Well Gia. Scrub Who we gonna call? Crud Buster. Crud Buster. <laughs> Sit down. I'm going to tell you. Welcome. Uh, good morning, young people. Good morning. Good morning, brilliant minds. You guys are so bright. When I was 10, what Future. was I playing with? Max Chuck and played Danny Candy. Let me ask you, what was I doing at 10? Let me not play with Dolly. You understand? Listen, listen. Oh my God. Tell us about you. Tell us about <laughs> our future, because this looks very futuristic. <laughs> All right, so I just want to jump in really quickly to say um, the these guys are amazing, super, super amazing. And just giving them the opportunity to explore different ideas in tech, in, in business, mm -hmm. it, it really is an eye-opening experience, just for me as a coach. Yeah. And um, we started the journey back in 2018, um, but I met these guys about in 2023, and we started to do robotics, we started to introducing them to coding, and um, that's how we, we pretty much looked at what World Robot Olympiad is, and we wanted to be a part of that competition, and um, that's how we started putting the team together and started to train. Yeah, well, let me ask Jacob. So, Jacob, uh, being a part, well, first of all, congratulations, right, mm -hmm. on this win. Was this your first time, you know, interacting with robotics? Well, it wasn't my first time. I have been a part of this competition last year. Well, last time I did it, mm -hmm. which was 2023, yeah. which was when you win, you go to Panama. Mm -hmm. So I was a part of that. Okay. So you brought that level of experience to this team this year? Yes. yes. All right. Jackson, how about you? Congratulations, sir. How does it feel to be a part of the winning team? Um, I feel just like so proud that we won. And I'm so happy that all of our hard work that we put into this project, like it all paid off and we won. Yes. Wonderful. Lady Gia, the rose among the men, right? Absolutely. <laughs> um, Gia, um, Jack, um, Jackson just spoke about the hard work. Now, when we look at all of this, it does look like a lot of hard work. So tell us about how did you prepare for this type of competition to win? We prepared by just going and working and changing things and adding things and reconstructing our model because some things wouldn't work and then just completely changing it when something was going wrong. Oh, so Jacob, tell us, what, what, what exactly this do? Well, um, our robot, it cleans the bottom of ships. Oh, cleans the bottom of ships? The, oh, reas wow. the reason we do it is because ships enter the Kingston Harbor and crud, which I explained, it's, it's barnacles and seaweed and algae that grow on the bottom of the boat and we found out that it actually slows boats down in the water and it makes the boats use more fuel, which make less greenhouse gases into the air. Impressive. I was today years old. I was today years old. Jacob, I'm feeling more barn over. Because when I'm at 10, I swear to God, I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Mistress Kitty. Nobody wants cheese tricks. Crud. Crud? So Jackson, what is CRUD for our viewers and all of us who don't know yes, what please. is CRUD? So CRUD is the buildup of like algae and clams and all that stuff that will stick onto the bottom of the boat of like long times underwater and driving stuff, you know, stuff will like stick onto the boat and make a buildup that will eventually slow down the boat. And if there's too much, it could also be dangerous. Oh, so whoa. CRUD so as Jacob explained, crud slows down the boat and it uses more fossil fuels, which also does not contribute well to the Earth's atmosphere because there's a, a major buildup of greenhouse gases when, the fossil, when we burn the fossil fuels and the gas goes up into the air. When a bright till I don't feel like more go school on a bag. The way them bright, the way the brightness does a permeate through the air. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm very interested to find out how it works. 
So you can yeah, give so us Gia, a little can you show us? demo, a little yeah. explanation, because okay. right now we're very dense. <laughs> <laughs> At ten, no, move on to the other son. These are 10 year olds. Yes. So bright, so articulate, so intelligent. I'm going to your mother. Shh, shh, shh. We're going to your father. Shh, shh, shh. Jacob, you know something, you know? It's a come on. Ooh. All right, so. The motor is now spinning yes, so, so it can clean. So, this is how we clean it. Oh, okay. Ah. Wow. With magnets to stick to the bow. With oh, magnets with the to stick. Thank you, Gia. Yes. Oh, thank you, Gia. I want to point out that the magnets is important, and they came up with the concept of using the magnets because um, that's the pretty much the only way to make the whole thing automated. Oh. Because you know, ah. currently you you would actually have to manually go under there and clean. Clean it. And so their model, because of the magnets, the right ratio of magnets, it's able to stick to the ship. Okay. And it's able to pretty much clean while it's moving. So coach, let me just put this into full context because when you see um, children from Reach Academy um, go to Italy and win, I, I mean, wh what other countries are you guys competing against? Uh, pretty much the entire world. Um, they've, they've even made friends with um, folks from Germany, Croatia, oh. there's Canada. There's you know, the U.S. There's so many teams. The Hungary. And Hungary. Okay. There's so many teams there, and I think one of the biggest things was the fact that we also um, sell our, our, our personalities. Mm -hmm. You know, so Gia and Jacob, they're big on personalities. Yeah. Locally, Jackson is is a, is a, is crazy when it comes on to presenting. So um, we went out there, and, and that's what we we offered to the world, and. We were among the top three. In what's, fact, we won. What's the next big thing? Uh, the next big thing, to be completely honest, we're going back to the drawing board because I have these guys for another two years or another year and a half um, because we also want to... There are other competitions around the world that we also want to be a part of and represent Jamaica once more. So it's back to training. It's back to coaching again. And... Um, we're gonna be doing Jamaica Crud Busters. High five, Auntie Jacob. High five, I Auntie Gia. High five, Auntie Jackson. I feel yes! about the future of Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very hopeful. Yes. Like, yes, this is a breath of fresh air. I Talk just love about you guys. young, so talented, and innovative, eh? Yeah. Well done. Well, well done, Rich Academy. Well, well done, coach. Well done, well parents done. as well, because I know that this is a partnership between parents, teachers, and students. But you guys did all the hard work. You yeah, deserve man. all the praise. And I wish you all the best and continued success. And you have our support always. All right? Thank so you give so yourselves much. a resounding yeah, round man. of applause. Absolutely. You Absolutely. can't imagine I'll meet them graduation. I'll meet them mother and them something. You're going to be sick of it. You're going to be sick of it. You're going to be sick of it. When you return. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get this risky thing. When you return, make way for the queen. Sunrise gets a royal visit. I'm sure, you know, I miss this. <laughs>